Cisco Secure Client, which was formerly known as Cisco AnyConnect, is a piece of software that you can install on your remote device. And it consists of these modules or agents that look after different services. The one that it is mostly known for is the Remote Access VPN Connectivity. So you can use it to connect back to the VPN head end device to access resources within your organization. And these are the features it has. Again, AnyConnect VPN which is automatically connecting, reconnecting or disconnecting VPN sessions. Network Access Manager. Network Access Manager manages user and device identity and protocols required for secure access. You can choose options for wide and wireless connections and how you want to authenticate to the network, as well as other options. Next is Ice Posture, Identity Services Engine. Posture, with Ice Posture, you're able to perform endpoint posture assessment to ensure the endpoint satisfies all requirements. So to make sure the endpoint has up-to-date antivirus software, etc. Next is Secure Endpoint. Secure Endpoint works as a module within Cisco Secure Client and has a secure client user interface. Then there's Cisco Umbrella and the Umbrella Roaming Security provides DNS layer security when no VPN is active and adds an intelligent proxy. Then there's some more modules which do not actually have a user interface, but these are the host scan, which is the ASA firewall posture, but again does not have a GUI. Then there's a cloud management module which enables administrators to create cloud managed deployments of Cisco Secure Client, and it uses a bootstrapping process to do this. Network visibility module, this allows organizations to see endpoints and user behavior on their network. And it does this by collecting flows from endpoints on and off the premise and valuable contexts like user application device location and destination information. And it caches this data and sends it to the network visibility module collector when it is on the trusted network, which is usually the corporate network on premise or through a VPN. And the last one is the diagnostic and reporting tool, which is used for diagnostics and reporting and for troubleshooting purposes.